In this video, I'll be covering geometry dash levels that are overrated by the community because they don't provide as much value as they're known for. Before we start, consider subscribing to my channel since I'm trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of 2022. At first we have Sonar by Jerkrat. Don't get me wrong, the decoration looks decent and charming, I just don't think it can compete with effect masterpieces like Retray, which get served the similar amount of recognition, since we need to take into consideration that the entirety of Sonar's gameplay was ripped of stereo madness, yet it's still the most downloaded level on the servers. God damn, that's a lot. But at least its entire concept wasn't as repetitive as Flappy Bird by Darnock, which relies so much on design consistency and recycling that it has no creative value whatsoever. The idea itself has a lot of potential, if only it didn't create a trend that makes its levels even lazier. This pattern is also familiar in 9 Circles, which on its own is a very impressive level, but a lot of other projects similar to 9 Circles fall apart. Let me explain. Jawbreaker, Fairy Dust, Sonic Wave, Poltergeist, Crimson Clutter and tens of other levels follow the exact same level aspects as 9 Circles, yet they still get a lot of recognition in the community. A lot of recognition is also visible in main level remakes, which usually don't even add any new concept to the levels themselves. Remixes solely rely on the concept that was made by someone else, in this case Robert Topala. You may argue that the gameplay could vary from the original, but it still lacks a lot of effort. But hey, at least it's some kind of effort because Manix by Karma L is even lazier in this regard, since Crazy Man himself actually made no changes to the core gameplay, he simply selected it all and made invisible. Invisibility is an orthodox aspect when it comes to overrated levels. Take Invisible Clubstep for example, which got its recognition mainly for the fact that the creator swapped every block in the level with its invisible replacement. I think even Partition's videos require more effort than that, and that's something to be concerned about. Or you may be concerned about these levels names, which are the only aspect that made the individual creations famous. For instance, imagine you're browsing through the awarded tab when suddenly you come across a level called Winter, I guess? So you decide to play it when you realize that the name was the only creative aspect of the level. At the bottom of the iceberg lay Slow Death, which got a praise of many. But for what reason? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this one where I explain why I find Crazy 3 overrated on its own. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!